All right. We are at VIR in the Clio. And I am struggling as always on road, but this thing, cold tires, takes a lap and a half for me to get the front tires to actually feel right. And then the rear end is kicking out on me like uh, you would expect out of a four -wheel, front wheel drive that uh, I had the issues with that in the touring cars. But hadn't really ran into that yet with this, and now I'm struggling. We're also the foreigner in here, so it uh, looks like only a couple other people from the U.S., so we've got the high... Well, do we have the high ping? Latency's bouncing around. What is our server? Server is... Uh, okay, it is Frankfurt, so... That is why the Brazilians are really getting hit hard here. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't promise anything good out of this. i got to get a bunch of recording done because Omaha enters the U.S. Cup in the second round, which is on Wednesday. So I'm going to that because El Paso is coming to town. And that'll be the first time we play a championship team. I mean, we've already beat two MLS teams, but that was kind of their uh, second-tier bench group that we came in and beat. And then when we actually had to play Kansas City's first team, or most of their first team, I think we got beat like seven or eight to nothing. So... I think a championship team is actually going to be tougher for us because they're going to show up with their starters, I would assume. Especially since we were the uh, big-time Cinderella story last year, making it to the quarterfinals. Um, I, uh, I assume they're going to show up with a harder group than we faced, possibly... Well, most likely against Chicago. Minnesota, I mean, they still ha had a okay lineup, and it's a bit of luck, and they didn't really have much of a bench either to bring in because they underestimated us. But I don't know. I'm, I'm worried El Paso is going to come in and well, they'll save me some money, possibly, by eliminating us early, and I won't have to take a trip outside of town. Or we can just get home draws this whole year. That'd be great. But, yeah, looking forward to that. Excited. Open Cup's always fun, because, I mean, you never know how far you can go. It's uh, the fun of it. It was fun to follow Wrexham while they were making their run. Now we just gotta hope that uh, they don't get screwed over by, uh, what is it, Hull City? Um, both of those teams are having a crazy good year, but only one automatic promotion spot, green, so. Green, green. Okay. Looking to see how that turns out for them in their final five or six games, whatever it's at now. So yeah, I've got to get some racing done. I might do a couple of races and then a couple of flying videos and call that good because it's easier and quicker for me to just do a flying video instead of waiting for a scheduled race. Uh, we are very slow though even on my better laps because a 4,000 I rated guy in practice like closed in 10 seconds on me in a lap and a half so I am struggling car does not feel as connected the front end feels very twitchy like it's uh, 
F3, F4, just kind of not a whole lot of steering angle for some reason. Um, and I'm slowing down for corners that I don't need to or slowing down too early. Not using up the whole track like that. Getting bad angles and bad exits to very long straightaways that go up hills. So even with the qualifying, I assume we're going to start in the back and that is perfectly fine because if I, the slower I go, the less chance I have of tossing it off and then maybe I can uh, gain a few spots by everyone else because this place is just one of those that people tend to find their way off track. It's a very narrow track and there's lots of green and blind corners and hills and dips and there will be contact, especially with the pings that we got going on. Looks like we're going to do an 11 something. 11 2. One more lap. 11 0. Two minutes, 11.094. That's probably. Well, that lap's junk, and so we're just going to call it there. Let's see how far off pace we are. Oh, you know, only four seconds. And we're dead last. I, I don't know. Like, I felt great at Okiyama. Uh, then I didn't race last week because it was Monza, and I just didn't want to run that. I know it's popular because road racers get to draft, and they barely have to turn, so everyone shows up for it. It's kind of like the... Uh, the uh, Talladega and Daytona of road racing, that and Watkins Glen. But this one is going to make me feel very terrible. So hopefully it's just entertaining and we're not half a mile behind. Assume, yeah, no, no point to even ready up right now. Let's do a little practice run into turn one. I know we'll be going a little quicker than this, but just make sure I am uh, aware of what the car is going to do on the start. Like, I don't know if there's something with the setup. It feels like a steering ratio is wrong, but I don't even think that's a thing in road. Yeah, it's not. It just all feels off for me right now. And it's... Sh yeah, it's the same setup we've been using, too, this whole time. So, explain that one to me. So let's back off some of that rear brake, although that might make us just lock the front ups more. Do a refresh on paint schemes now, and we got 30 seconds till the race. And hopefully we're not wrecked by turn one. We're ahead of four people, so we should be able to stay out of danger. And I assume... Odd is on the inside. But sometimes road... Yeah, odds on the inside, so that's good. We don't have a outside start, so I think we can just kind of see what happens with the 17th and 19th place guy. If they jump up to the outside, we'll just lift off, go to last. And then watch for... All the carnage. But 
that is the only way we're going to get anywhere near a 12th place, I think, is wrecking. I mean, we're two seconds off of these guys, so I'm just not comfortable. Not doing something right. Not comfortable. Don't feel like I can break how I have been. And we got... And we got a bit of ping, so... Just be aware of that. But hope everyone gives us some free spots. Alrighty. speed with our speed and their ping we don't need to be three wide especially when all that's gonna happen and it's much safer for us to be on the inside and we got one heading way off and I thought the guy behind us was gonna murder us because he was headed towards the grass and it looks like everyone is struggling just as much as we are struggling so well, on your left. Clear on the left. he must have a slowdown I don't know we have a massive gap behind us and are near the top 10 what is this guy doing getting people randomly slowing down. Front tires still are really jerky and weird right now on cold. He's headed off, and is he going to be able to stop? Yep, we're just going to... Right. This guy is just flying in. Okay, on the left. I was looking at everyone ahead of us trying to be Clear safe, and right. was just way under driving. Thankfully, we didn't get killed by both of those guys, but we're definitely losing a lot of time down that hill because I'm driving it way too safe. You're going to see everyone swerving around until the tires come up to temperature. Front tires do some weird things while they're cold. And that guy is headed. I don't know how he saved that. I thought he was gone to the left, and then I thought he was gone to the right. This guy's just going to cause a wreck. Stay on the right. And, well, he got right what he deserved there for throwing it in there. Keep to the left. Nothing I could do. I was trying to give him room, and then we hit the curve. Still there. Just way too aggressive there Still for there. Hold your line. Clear on the right. being the guy that backed Two, off four, randomly. Four, point, four, eight, two. Car right. Clear. And, well, we knew that was going to happen. Yeah, it looks like everyone is struggling with the wiggles. Which was not a thing the first two races. So I don't know if the tires are just cooling off so much on the longer straights, or the balance is just not right for here. Doesn't make sense since we're on the same set though, unless they somehow ended up with two different fixed sets. I'm just gonna be safe through that portion. everyone tries to go wide through all that, I'm going to be safe. I'll just continue to be safe. Do 
some more on throttle braking. Someone off. What an idiot. Are you really going to block that? Going 50 miles an hour slower after you made a mistake? Go right. Okay, well, two free spots. I think that puts us in eighth at the moment, but not planning on holding on to that. I assume these guys will get back to us as I underdrive every corner. But you know what? We're underdriving, and that means we're not going off yet. Got nine minutes and 45 seconds left. I don't even have the correct things on screen for race labs, so I apologize for that. Those are not going to get put up until maybe the straightaway, but maybe not even then with the way this thing is uh, driving on the straights. I'm just going to go to the left and get this guy past us. Right side, clear on the right. Before he wrecks us. Seven car coming up behind us. All right, I can probably throw this stuff up on screen now. If I can drive and click. There we go. Got the car on your left. Still there, hold your line. It's clear. I think we're nearly back to last place of everyone that's on track. Or that has stayed on track for the most part. And we nearly go off track. So now we are back to last place. Right side. Not going to block someone coming with a run after we made a mistake. So now we are in like 12th. Yep. Yeah, we've got faster cars coming up. And, well... He forgot there was a turn there. I feel like I could be a little more aggressive now with the tire heat, but honestly, if everyone's just going to keep driving off. Stable, and now we're driving off. See, I didn't lift off like I did all the other times, and we drive off. And now I'm in a very bad angle again. Just terrible. So the good news is only the four cars left to catch us. Everyone else, it seems like we're pulling away. We got seven minutes left in this thing. And it looks like they're about to wreck each other up ahead, so we will look forward to those easy free spots as long as I don't just toss it off there. But we're here. Why am I driving like shit? I don't get it. I don't get what I'm doing. Okay, well, now we can let everyone else go as we fall back to dead last. 15th, 17th. Who knows how far we'll fall. Two minutes, 13.04. This car just drives absolutely terrible here.
and we pull away from these guys. Now I've put pressure on myself, so... That means more mistakes are incoming. Like that. Just letting the rear end try to pass me. the left side of the track, breaking. And this guy's got a run on us. We were pulling away from him, and then I just completely forgot how to drive, so... We got a bunch of smoke. Behind us, screwed up. You got a slow car on the left. Go right. Yeah, this guy has went off again. Another one's gone off. I think both of those people have gone off once before. Thirteen will pass us again. Hopefully he goes off though before he does that. You're in the top ten. So back into the top ten. For now, until I overdrive it. pulled away from the guys behind again so hopefully we can get the 13 past us without getting wrecked we'll assume since he's going off track every other lap that we should get the spot back give him the inside Car right. Still there. Hold your line. don't get Clear ran the over line. away from everyone behind as I just turn in way too early. I want to gouge my eyes out watching me drive this. I don't get it. Like, we were really good at Okiyama. Everything felt fine. Car wasn't getting stupid under braking. This thing is just swerving all over on the straights. It's kicking out under braking massively. It's just gotta be the much more elevation changes that are here in every corner. Or me just overdriving it, even though I'm underdriving every entry. Well, we are in 11th. We gotta hope that he's now on his going off lap so that we can get back in the top 10. That's if we can hold on to this spot from the car behind. Taking it slow, because... Better than driving off the track. Although this is the number six car. I don't know if he was actually one of the people behind us when we were watching. So he's going to be quicker. We don't need to try to hold on to it. I 
actually stay wide here and get a good drive off. Better drive off than we've had, so better drive off than he got. It might have saved our 11th place. Come on, 13, you can drive off the track. Nope. Well, we got what we got. Well, unless I drive off the track there. Let's hope the start line's not too far away. We do one better than our number, but we were pretty bad. Not consistent at all. Ticket we do flag, run our fastest flag. lap at the end of it. 208, but we had some draft. And yeah, we possibly could have got ninth had we not drove off multiple times. But uh, at least we didn't go way off like a lot of the guys did. Let's take a look at the wrecks. See how bad it was my fault. Yeah, I, I mean, we didn't get any room. He's just cutting in there. After putting himself in that position. Like, he chose to go to our outside. I, I would never choose to go to my outside. And then we get pushed off trying to give him room, and then we just push wide, so. Is what it is. No idea. Oh, and then he wrecks that guy. So the 18 goes wide there, then the 16 comes in and tries to go to the grass and then just runs straight into him. So yeah, clearly, clearly he's the best driver in the world. And then we got the 15 going off, the three hitting the dirt going around and that is it oh boy this guy's a winner So, let's take a look at results. If we can find them. And 5 I rating, we lose 5 safety rating. We get down to a 208. Um and uh, six incidents, a couple for going off there. But uh, we didn't win the incident race like uh, the old number 17 there. But, yeah. I mean, he put himself on a bad spot and then turned into us. Yeah, I pushed out and hit him, but he chose to go out there. And he got himself a slowdown. He would have been well ahead of us, so I'm not too worried seeing how he's reacting. 
But hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.